Twister, we've been friends since we were 12, 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? So actually he's the one that started us uh, doing this. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was early, you know, Fat Boys, Ron DMC, LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? We was watching Crush Groove. You know what I'm saying? And that give us the spark to want to just do it, look, looking at the Fat Boys. So them, them, that's the era right there that, that made me and Twister want to do what we did, doing what we doing. Yeah. Yeah, the classics, man. Um, now you guys, yeah. uh, you guys grew up together. You guys live in the same area and go to school together. Uh, we grew up. We grew, grew up in the same neighborhood in K Town. Yeah, yeah. Up on the west side, west side of Chicago. Yeah, a man. A lot of legends came up out of K Town, man. I mean, you're talking, you know, Conflict, yeah, man. Do or Die, so many people. Um, yes, sir. I can imagine the competitive nature was just crazy at that time. It was actually back then, man. It, it, you know, people weren't paying Chicago no attention. They was really paying attention to the hip house, you know. And by me Fast and Twister, Eddie and all like that. The, yeah, Fast Eddie and all that, you know. And actually, me and Twister was one of the first artists artists to sign a deal to go nation nationwide, you know. What I'm saying, and they weren't understanding, you know, tongue twister back in the day, you know. What I'm saying until we were actually got on that stage and and did what we did, you know. what I'm saying, but. They, they, you know, it, it was rough for us back then because, you know what I'm saying, we was the only ones. They weren't paying attention to nobody. Then eventually Common came and then the Brat, then everybody else came out the worst. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you know what I'm saying, you were in a hard spot for a while there because there was a, a lot of talent there, but like you said, it was getting swept up under the rug. Um, yeah, well, man. It really broke the door open for you guys and, and made the, the majors start to look at Chicago and take you guys real serious. Uh, first of all, what made him take made him pay attention to Twister was when he broke the uh, the Guinness board, Guinness's uh, record for you know the fastest uh, rapper. You know, what I'm saying doing five hundred some syllables in fifty five seconds. You know, what I'm saying so they carried us a long way. You know, what I'm saying and right along with you know just just constantly just performing and staying at it and you know going to these places of. Personally, because like I say, there wasn't no internet back then when we was coming up, so we had to go to these places, you know, personally, you know, what I'm saying and to all these radio stations, the stores, the, the in stores, all, all, everywhere we had to go, you know, get on that road and do what we do, and then eventually, T and Kanye hooked up, and you know, what I'm saying, and next thing you know, bam, they came with the slow jams, and the rest is history. People stopped paying attention, yeah. but they was paying attention before that. Because they was paying attention to Pope Pimp, do or die. Yeah. So that was yeah. that was that was that was shook the world right there. That would change. That was sparked everything for us right there. To be honest, it was uh, do or die, Pope Pimp. Rest in peace, yeah. Johnny P. And and uh, you know what I'm saying prior to that, you know what I'm saying going back a little bit again. Uh, when you guys were real young, you know what I'm saying. Uh, did you uh, did you know everybody like you know Bilo and Nard and everybody too as well? Yeah, AK. yep, yep, yep. Me, Belo, and AK used to battle each other uh, at this place called the Factory, and we used to footwork. You know, we used to we used to dance back in the days, and that's how we actually met each other. As far you know, what I'm saying dancing against each other uh, mm-hmm. on the West Side, and and me and Wild Style and and the rest of the guys in Cohort, we all just grew up with each other. You know, what I'm saying so we was always around each other. You know, what I'm saying so it was always like family. No matter what, so we always was around each other. Well, yeah. So, so, you, so you, you definitely. I mean, you got to see, uh, you know, JD Walker slipping away and. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. JD was, you know, what I'm saying them, them the guys there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes, I've seen a lot. I've been, I've been around since the beginning, man. Since the beginning, you know, all. I've been twist the hype, man. Yeah, I've been Twister Hype Man for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we've been, we've been doing, and I'm still a Hype Man today, still doing what we do, man. Man, that, that's a beautiful thing to be able to have a bond, you know what I'm saying, with the, uh, with somebody for all those years and still be able to go out and perform, do these shows professionally, music and all that stuff. Man, when you guys were first coming up, how did you get into the fast rapping? I mean, what what was the inspiration for that? Actually, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. You know, because at first, you know, uh, actually, Twister 
was writing a he was writing a rap for me and his brother, and he was beatboxing at the time. You know what I'm saying? So he started. So he, they say, you know, he came with Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh. They came with the show. He's like, wait a minute, the perfect, you know. So then they came with the Lottie Dottie, where a person can rap and beatbox at the same time. So then that's what Twister started rapping himself, and just you know, we used to walk around battling everybody, and, and Twister used to tear everybody head off. So it was at the point where we was that young, like, okay, we didn't pretty much battled everybody. He wanted to do something different, and I think he heard LL. I think LL was the first one that that uh, flipped the flipped the words up, but he did it in spurts. You know, what I'm saying he would say, bit of and then he would rap regular, and then you know, what I'm saying he would do it here and there. So I think Twister was like, "Well, let me do it all the way through. Let me, you know, what I'm saying." And I don't know where that came from, but one day he just decided to just, "Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna do this," and he did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And put those syllables together like that. Next thing you know, it goes Mr. Tongue Twister. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and I imagine yeah. he just had the uh, the natural ability to be able to pick it up real quick. Yeah, yeah. He had great pronunciation. You know what I'm saying? So that would that would made it even more easier for him to do that. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I could bag him up on stage, you know, as, as me being his hype man. You know, I can't do all that like that, but I just know where to pick and choose to come in and, and bag them up when I have to do with my parts, you know, when I'm on that stage. So, but it is something else being that man hype man, being on that stage doing that. It's unbelievable. I, I can imagine the energy you guys bring. Uh, you know, I've been a fan of the music over the years. I never got to see you guys perform live, but I can imagine your, your stage shows are insane. Oh, yeah. They're serious because we, we, we take pride. You know what I'm saying? We're very serious about performing because we still love, you know what I'm saying? We love our music. We love music. We love to entertain. We love to make the music. You know what I'm saying? So we still take every show like it's the first one. So that's why we give it our all no matter what. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.